Welcome to the Allen Institute for Brain Science Technical Tour. This tutorial will demonstrate the basic features of the Brain Explorer three-dimensional viewer for the mouse brain. The Brain Explorer software is a desktop application designed to view the Allen Mouse Brain Atlas data at mouse.brain-map.org in a three-dimensional framework. You will need to download the software from the Brain Explorer tab in the Allen Mouse Brain Atlas banner. You can download either the Windows or the Macintosh version. Once you've downloaded the software, you're ready to view gene expression in the mouse brain in 3D. From the ISH Data tab, you can search for genes, either entering in a gene name and clicking search, or by using some of our more advanced search features described in other tutorials. I will look for enhanced gene expression in the enterhinal areas by clicking on that structure in this list. What gets returned are a list of experiments that fit your selection criteria. Since only the coronal data set includes data from across the entire brain, choose coronal data by checking this box. You can browse this list by clicking on the gene name, which will bring up a three-dimensional thumbnail view of the experiments. Once you find a gene that shows an interesting gene expression profile, like CBLN4, click the View in 3D link above the thumbnail viewer and you will be taken to the Brain Explorer software. What you're looking at here is the three-dimensional gene expression pattern of CBLN4. The colors represent the intensity of the expression ranging from low in green to high in the reds. Each sphere represents a 200 micrometer cubed segment of mouse brain or voxel. The compass in the top right hand corner provides orientation cues of the three-dimensional brain space. Let's first demonstrate the basic navigation features in the toolbar to best optimize your use of the software. Clicking on the rotation tool icon allows you to rotate the image by left clicking and dragging. Clicking the hand icon allows you to pan the image by clicking and dragging. And the icon with the green dot and cursor allows you to select an individual voxel to view the two-dimensional image from which this data came. If you're using a mouse, keep the rotation tool selected, as left clicking will allow you to rotate the image, clicking the scroll wheel will allow you to drag and pan the image, and right clicking will select one of the data points. You can add context for the pattern of gene expression by adding a coronal, sagittal, or horizontal nissel section. Here, I've added a coronal nissel section. Now you can move the section across the brain by right-clicking on the nissel section and dragging in the perpendicular direction. You'll want to try this a couple times as it takes practice. Here I'm looking for the nissel section in the area of the entorhinal cortex. You'll notice that there may be data in the way of an expression pattern you're interested in, and you can remove that by using the clipping planes tool. When you select this icon, your brain is surrounded by a green cube. Move the planes here in a similar way to the nissel sections to remove the three-dimensional objects outside of your cube. You can zoom in or out using the wheel on your mouse or by using the slider bar at the bottom of the image viewer. And you can reset your brain to the default view by clicking Reset from the View drop-down menu. I want to orient you and your attention to the panels on the right. Our structure ontology is in the top panel, and the gene list showing the selected genes is at the bottom. Our structure ontology includes over 800 structures listed hierarchically. If you don't know where your structure of interest is listed in the hierarchy, I recommend finding it alphabetically first from this tab. Clicking on that structure will bring up its hierarchy in the top left-hand corner of the viewer. You will be taken to that position when you return to the hierarchical tab. The two columns next to the structures are G for gene expression and A for atlas structure. Gene expression is turned on in the entire brain indicated by the check marks and you can turn on the reference atlas structures by clicking next to that structure in the A column.
In fact, you can turn on all the large structures in the brain by clicking on the Show Outer Structures from the Atlas drop-down menu. The structures are represented by different colors, which are also indicated next to the structure name in the ontology list. You can even make those structures transparent by clicking Transparent in the Atlas drop-down menu so that you can see gene expression inside the structures. You can view the gene expression patterns of more than one gene by selecting another gene from the Allen Mouse Brain Atlas, or you can search for a gene from the search box above the structure ontology. I've searched for a gene named Relin. Another tab will open up in the main viewer, allowing you to choose from the experiments that fit your search criteria. Again, choose an experiment done in the coronal plane, and then go back to the gene expression view by clicking on the detail view tab. You're now looking at the expression energy of both genes. To distinguish the expression patterns of each individual gene, from the gene drop-down menu, select raw colors, then select user defined. Now, CBLN4 is shown in yellow, and Relin is shown in orange. Thank you for taking this brief tour. To get started or for more information, please go to our website at www.brain-map.org.